Good morning, folks. Hi, Phil McPhail with United Country Lifestyle Properties in Maine. Welcome to Deer Run in the town of Wesley. What I'm going to show you today is a very unique uh, property. We've got this cabin here behind me. We're going to show you a little more detail of that. This sits in the center of about five acres of land in the middle of the woods, and there's no driveway to this cabin. This cabin was built carrying all this building material in here by hand. Uh, very unique situation. There is a parking spot off of the uh, road that accesses the property. And stick around, this property also has access to two different lakes. We're gonna show you one of those today. A couple boat landings where you can go in, do some fishing, paddling, boating, whatever you wanna do, with you've got deeded rights to do so. So let's go check this out together today. Wesley is a real rural town here in Washington County. It's a population is about 122. That's less than three people per square mile in this town. This town was founded by John, or named after John Wesley, who founded the English Methodist movement. The uh, property here, we're about 20 miles from the town of Machias, which is the county seat in Washington County. You've got a hospital there, um, University of Maine Machias, some restaurants, all kinds of shops. From here to Bangor, the International Airport's about 87 miles from here, and that's almost uh, an hour and 45 minutes by the time you get out of the dirt road that accesses this property. City of Boston's about 321 miles, five and a quarter hours, five and a half hours, depending on how fast you drive. So you can get here. It is a very remote location, folks, but uh, I think it's worth the drive. Hey, let's check out the exterior of this cabin. This cabin was built approximately 1988. Uh, these are cedar shakes on the exterior of the building. Um, the roof is metal. The building sits on wooden posts. And like I said, all of this material was hand carried to this site. Let's go on inside and take a look at the interior. And as you come into the cabin, it's not a very big building, but it is uh, pretty well set up. We've got knotty pine on the walls and the ceiling. We've got some flooring here of some old carpet, a little bit of vinyl. We've got uh, windows all the way around. They're actually pretty decent windows for being so remote. There is a nice little wood stove in here. I'm thinking this place is going as you see it. Uh, got a gas stove. We also have an old sink over here, which I believe just drains into the ground in the gray water pit. Hey folks, we'll talk about the land here a little bit. Now this is five plus or minus acres. The cabin sits near the center of it. The trees here are all mature. There's some, well, not, not all of them. There's a lot of smaller trees, but we got some really large white pine in here towering over this cabin. Um, I don't think, we flew it with a drone here a few minutes ago, I haven't looked at it yet, but I doubt we're even gonna see it from a drone shot. So if you're looking to hide out, you just want a place to get away from everybody. Uh, we're as far away from people as you can get right here. We'll show you the trail on the way back down, but we do have an outhouse over here behind us. Let's kind of take a look at that real quick. Nothing special. You know, this is your getaway cabin. If you don't want to rough it, don't even bother calling folks, because this is a, you know, you might have to fight a squirrel or two to get in here, depending on the line. So let's uh, take a look at the trail back there. And then I as promised, we'll go over and take a look at one of those boat landings on Long Lake. Hey folks, we're walking out here on the trail now down to the area we've parked our vehicles at. And as you can see, this is a fairly well concealed trail. Uh, I didn't think I was going to find this place when I came looking for it today and I had a pretty good map. The uh, lot does have 330 feet on Dale Road out here and we'll show you that as well before we head over to the lakes. Okay, we're down here on Dale Street. Now when I call this a street, I'm using that term kind of loosely. This is kind of a single trail uh, dirt road. You don't need a, you don't need four-wheel drive, but you will want ground clearance to get in here. So don't show up like um, with your Lexus in the middle of the woods because you're going to bottom out on this road. So we're going to go here from now. You can take a look at the parking area we got behind us, and then we're going to go check out one of those lakes. Hey, folks, where you can see the parking lot. Before I forget to tell you, uh, a lot of you will ask. Is there a cell service here? And yes, unfortunately, I had a really good call right in the middle of the cabin up there about five minutes ago. We're over here on the first of two uh, common lots that are accessible for our cabin here in Wesley. This is Otter Lake. They call it Otter Lake. It's a 44 acre pond. It's about 19 feet deep. Excellent chain pickerel fishing. So if you've got kids that like to fish, you can't find a better fish that'll cooperate more typically than a chain pickerel. We also, another mile or so down the road, have uh, another access like this, but this is a hand carry. Uh, Long Lake is down the road, 698 acres. That's about 28 feet deep. And that's a good smallmouth bass fishery. You can launch a boat at the other common lot. 
Hey folks, before we wrap up this video, don't forget, like the video, share it with some of your friends, and make sure you hit that subscription button down below and put on all notifications so you don't miss another video. The price on this property here in Wesley is $84,000. The taxes are a mere $199 a year. If you need more information or you wanna come take a look at it, give our listing agent, Janine Hawkins, a call at 800-286-6164. Thanks for joining me today. Good luck in your hunting.